During the past week and a half, I'm sure all of you guys witnessed and experienced that the, the stock market, it was bloody as hell because literally every sector within the New, uh, New York Stock Exchange tanked and it tanked hard. I really can't say that it was a market crash because it looked more like a market correction rather than a crash. That's you know what that what we witnessed you know last week. That's just my opinion. And even though you know I was not active on YouTube last week, I was being very active in the stock market because I was just buying stocks left and right. And literally last week was like a perfect opportunity for each and every single one of us to either start a brand new position or average down your current you know average price so you know last week was like a perfect opportunity for each and every one of us whoever is uh, invested in stocks to actually take the opportunity and utilize it and I was being very active and I saw so many stocks that were in a great discount territory and this type of opportunity is really hard to pass by so yeah I literally took advantage of it and I went shopping for it so in today's video I'm going to reveal which stocks that I bought during the uh, during the correction time frame so please stay tuned to this video Hello YouTubers, my name is Jonathan and welcome to my channel, Bullish Journey. And in today's video, I'm going to reveal the stocks that I bought last week and I've bought six stocks and I would like to share with you guys in today's video, so please stick, stick around. And if you happen to like today's content, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, the bell and notification for all my upcoming future content. And before I proceed with today's video, I did made a video yesterday and I made an announcement yesterday stating that I'm currently trying out a brand new social media platform called Clubhouse, which is a free voice based social media a application where people discuss, you know, predetermined topics or whatever's on their mind in the chat room. It's a little bit like a semi public Zoom call with all of the cameras turned off so that you don't, they don't see your face. You know while discussing relative topics within the chat room so basically I'm trying out this app because I want to utilize this platform where I can reach out and engage with you all by talking sharing communicating and discussing about stocks in the near future so if you guys are interested then you can find me in the clubhouse app and all you have to do is just go to the search bar and type my name bullish journey the platform is pretty easy to use and all you need to do is just download the app in the app store. Of course, sign up, create an account and you can easily look up my name, Bullish Journey in the search bar and boom, you'll find me. And please note that Clubhouse is only available for iOS. So, you know, it sucks to be a Android, you know, phone user, but it's only as of right now available for iOS. And if you join in, you will get two invitations where you can only invite two people at a time. So please utilize your invitations wisely. And also, if things goes well, and if we have enough you know, active participants in the clubhouse, then I will set a schedule for one hour talking session each and every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that we can all gather up in that same time, get to know each other, network around, share ideas, joke around, you know, and, you know, share stock information. And the most important thing of all is provide value for each other for, you know, in terms of stock investing. So that's pretty much my main motive for creating the Clubhouse group. And I will start my first ever live session today, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested and if you're free during that time frame, then please feel free to join in and let's chat because I'm going to create a room at 9 p.m. I'm going to put Bullish Journey, um, Clubhouse, um, Circle, whatever, something like that. You're just going to see my name. And if you see it, just come right in and 
you will you know you'll be able to enter in without any restrictions whatsoever i'm not going to put any code or password in it so you can just come in well that's that so let's stick to today's topic and i'm going to reveal all the six stocks that i've bought last week so let's go so as you all know i have two brokerage account the first one's webull which is my super bullish account and my second one is the Robinhood account, which is my bullish account. And I'm going to go with my super bullish Webull account. And then first of all, I bought 20 shares of Apple. And I bought, I bought it at $120 per piece, uh, per share, actually. And I bought it on February 25th. And literally, I'm doing great with Apple because my average cost is literally $113.71. And then the second one is the almighty Tesla. So I bought five shares of Tesla and I bought it at two occasions. The first one, I bought it at 785, which is back on February 18th. And I bought three shares of Tesla, which is the most recent one. And I bought it at $625. And on I bought that on February 23rd. So I total, uh, amount of Tesla shares I currently have is 18. I have 18 Tesla shares and my average cost for Tesla is $529.72 which is I think I'm doing pretty great like before I had my average cost base was like 373 but like once I bought eight of them it just went up <laughs> almost $200 but hey it is what it is this is the price I have to pay because this company is great I am super bullish on Tesla you know going forward you know this company is just awesome and the ceo elon musk he's an awesome person hey i have no complaints i'll pay a premium for this company next one is a brand new uh, uh stock that i recently bought and i this is my brand new position that i've entered in and it's called tsmc taiwan semiconductor manufacturing Co uh, corporation and th this company makes semiconductors and I bought 30 shares of TSM at $124.50 on February 26th so my average cost is yeah, $124.50 and the reason why I bought TSMC is because due to the whole semiconductor shortage and with the EVs and also phones so I felt that this is a perfect opportunity for me to actually jump in and start a brand new position in TSMC. So that's why I bought 30 of them to, you know, get my feet wet. Now, switching over to my bullish account, which is my Robinhood account. First of all, I bought Workhorse and I did made a standalone video. The card's going to be up here. If you missed it but um i did made a standalone video about workhorse and i did mention that i'm very bullish in workhorse it's just the fact that i was waiting for the price to come down and in fact it did <laughs> so i bought it at two occasions first one i bought it at i bought 31 shares at 13 dollars and 50 cents which is on february 22nd and the second was I bought 19 shares at $14.50, which is the very next day, February 24th. So the numbers of shares I have on Workhorse is 50. I currently have 50 Workhorse shares, and my average cost is $14.14. .14. And currently, they're above like $16 and some change, so, you know, I'm okay with it. Next stock is another EV play, which is XL Fleet. That's another stock that I made a standalone video not too long ago. And if you missed it, there's the card right here. You can click on it to see my um, previous video on XL Fleet. And XL Fleet, I bought it at, you know, three occasions. The first one was I bought 27 shares at $18.65. Kind of paid, you know, big on that one. And I bought it at February 18th. And then a week later, I bought... 20 shares at $16.50 and that was on February 22nd and now in the third instance I bought 25 
at $14.50 on February 24th. If you look at this pattern, as you can see, I just dollar cost average down. So, you know, my average cost is $16.66 altogether, and I have 75 shares of Excel Fleet. And last but not least, this is a penny stock. This is a very interesting play because this company is pretty diverse. They're, they are in the EV sector, but at the same time, they are affiliated with the fintech side as well. And this company is called Ideonomics, ticker symbol IDEX, I-D-E-X. And this company was founded in 2017 you know, and it was founded as a business transformation of an existing media company. <laughs> Ideonomics is forging the new paradigm on how industries embrace innovation and how emerging technology companies grow. The company's significant resources, including like partnerships and talent, combined with portfolio synergies, empower Ideonomics partners to thrive and help industries benefit from the evolution of technology the company is currently headquarters in new uh, headquartered in new york with offices in beijing hangzhou Qingdao, and operations in of course united states they have operations in ukraine china and malaysia so they're pretty much a global company and in terms of um, Ideonomics' like future outlook, you know, as a business transformation of an existing media company, Ideonomics has become a fintech firm through direct investments, strategic acquisitions, and of course, joint ventures. And throughout these changes, the company remains steady fast in its commitment to investing and promoting innovative solutions. Ideonomics next chapter is building a next generation technology ecosystem for alternative energy power transportation services and disruptive fintech solutions for the financial service industry. So this penny stock company, you know, seems very interesting and very intriguing. Like if you keep like researching and digging through their, you know, business model and stuff like that. They even have like a a bus in Utah and they they have it what, what was it called wave where they have like a battery platform and once the uh, bus drives underneath that battery platform it automatically recharges without like literally like cordless recharging type so it was like yeah it will it will blow your mind away so like th those type of um, innovations are those are those things that ideonomics are targeting which i find it very interesting and intriguing so you know i was like you know why not invest invest in you know a few shares you know to see how things plan out in the f near future so i went ahead and first i bought 100 shares of ideonomics at four dollars and 85 cents back on february 11th and <laughs> i bought 47 shares again at three dollars and eighty cents on february 19th 50 shares at three dollars and fifty cents on uh, february 24th and last but not least i bought 60 shares at three dollars and twenty cents on february 25th and i just kept average a dollar cost averaging this thing this penny stock down so overall i have 260 shares of idex and my average cost for it is four dollars and one cent at the moment so pretty much these are the six stocks that i bought and during the uh, market correction time frame last week and i feel that i did make a great investment i mean like especially like the spec stocks in terms of you know ideonomics i kind of want to you know keep it on a minimum and besides they're cheap so you know instead of going all in probably like buying like thousands and thousands of them I just wanted to buy 260 at max and see how things go because as you all know penny stocks can be very volatile so you know the way i dollar cost average this thing down yeah it can just go down in dollar amounts within days so like their volatility rate is pretty crazy not crazy as bitcoin but it, it gets really volatile throughout the day so you know every time when it 
went down, I kind of, you know, scooped up little by little. So that's, that was just my approach when I was, you know, deal, handling ideonomics during the uh, market correction, which was last week. So, you know, I hope you guys like today's content. Let me know what you guys think in terms of my purchase that I've made last week by dropping down your comments down below and let's discuss about it. And if you guys do give me 100 likes, then I will do a standalone video for Ideonomics. So if you're interested and so forth, please give me, give me that thumbs up, you know, give me that 100 likes and I will create a standalone video for Ideonomics. Thank you for tuning into today's video. Disclaimer, please note that I'm not a financial advisor and this video should not be taken as a financial advice. This video is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Bullish Journey advises all investors to do their own thorough research before investing in any stocks. So I'm out of here. Thank you very much for tuning into today's video. Have a great day. Peace.